Good evening. I'd like to call the meeting of the City Planning Commission to order. Would uh, the planner please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Here. Older person born is excused. Ryan Sazma? Here. Jerry Jones? Here. Here. Marilyn Montemeyer? Here. David Hoffman? Here. Don Sviton? Excused. Excused. So we have a quorum. Thank you very much. Uh, next, please stand and join me in the, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next item on the agenda is the introduction of uh, committee members and staff. Dave, you want to start? Dave Hoffman, citizen member. Mike Vandersteen, mayor and chair. Chad Pelishek, planning director. Steve Soklowski from the planning department. Uh, Ryan Sazman, Department of Public Works. And online. Jerry Jones, go ahead. Oh. Marilyn Monty, oh, mayor, Jerry. city representative. <laughs> Jerry Jones, uh, representative and vice chairman. Very good. And um, does anybody have a potential conflict of interest with any of the items on the agenda? Seeing no conflicts, uh, we'll move ahead to the minutes. Uh, I'd accept the motion to approve the minutes for the Planning Commission on from September 29th. So moved. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on those minutes? Dave? No? <laughs> okay, then. All those in favor of the minutes, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Chair votes aye. The motion passes. Uh, Going on to items for discussion and possible action. Item 3.1 is a conditional use and variance application by Bethany Reformed Church to install a new electronic reader board monument sign at 1315 Washington right, Avenue. Steve? Thanks, Mayor. Um, Jason Day is here representing <laughs> Bethany Reformed Church. And was there someone on the line as well? Uh, Tim Kramer was priority. Sign. Okay, all right. Sounds good. So what we're taking a look at is um, Bethany uh, Church is located at 1315 Washington <laughs> Avenue. So this is just south of the South High School uh, uh, football field and track. And they currently have an existing manual reader board. It's approximately 36 square feet. The church was interested in having the ability to uh, install a new uh, electronic reader board me message center. So to update their sign. Uh, the sign itself is approximately about 62 square feet in its overall size. It's um, seven and a half feet tall and eight feet wide. The actual signage is about 48 square feet with about 23 square feet for the reader board and 24, or I'm sorry, 24, three square feet for the Bethany portion and 24 square feet for the electronic reader board portion. Uh, the sign would be staying in the same location where they have power and things like that already there. So it's 12 feet from the property line and it would remain. And the new electronic message center will allow Bethany to post church service days, times, other events taking place at the church, scripture, patches, passages or messages, and will be safer for our employees who can easily change the message from the office. There is a variance uh, asking for the 62 square foot monument sign and the uh, uh, other than that, staff was recommending approval of the new sign as uh, requested subject to the conditions. So I can answer any questions in the applicants here. Thank you for that report, Steve. Did you want to add anything to Steve's report? No, I mean, Steve really hit the nail on the head here. I mean, we've been talking about replacing our sign for, for quite a while, and we finally have the funds to do it. Um, and uh, instead of sticking that money and upgrading the sign we have, you know, we're going to replace the sign. New technology, um, the Bethany Church portion will be, you know, backlit um, from the inside, and then obviously adding the, uh, the reader board to that. So... Location staying the same, setback off the road staying the same, um, and uh, you know just looking to upgrade the sign. 
Good. Thank you very much. I think those are push-through letters, right? A little depth even on yeah, the cabinet they'll portion. Yeah, they'll actually be raised letters, yeah. and then uh, the light will kind of <clears throat> backwash onto the white panel to illuminate the, uh, the Bethany Church. So it's, a, it's an attractive sign. Uh, commissioners, any other questions or, commo or a motion? I make a motion to approve along with the staff recommendation. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is one last call for any discussion on this item? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor yeah, of the motion? Roll call. Okay, go ahead. Mayor Vandersteen. Aye. Ryan Sazma. Aye. Jerry Jones. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer. Aye. David Hoffman. Aye. All eyes. Motion passes. Thank you yeah. very much. And Thanks, good luck everyone. With the project. Right. Thanks, Jason. Item 3.2 is a conditional use application by the Sheboygan County Warming Center to operate a warming center at St. Cyril and the Thodius Church located at 822 New Jersey Avenue. Steve. All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, Rich Gulag is here, as well as Judy. I'm not sure what Judy's last name is. Thank you. Um, what we're taking a look at is the uh, Sheboygan County Warming Center, Center is proposing to operate the Warming Center at St. Cyril Methodius Church located at 822 New Jersey Avenue. Um, the Warming Center has operated for four years at the Salvation Army facility and during that time the number of guests has varied from 1 to 25. Uh, now the Warming Center is looking at uh, St. Cyril and the purpose of the County Warming Center is to provide provide a safe temporary overnight shelter for adults who may be homeless because of emergencies of any kind, including transients, who would be housed on an overnight basis pending availability. And the goal is to provide a warm place to stay overnight during Sheboygan's cold winter nights. Uh, the warming center is operated by a number of county interdenominational churches working together during the months of January and February. Uh, the request is to permit the warming summer center to operate yearly from October 15th to April 15th and to permit a maximum of 40 guests and approximately two to 10 warming staff. Um, in terms of how the volunteer staff and guest daily schedules occur, uh, from about 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., there are about three to four people who open, set up, welcome guests, and serve hot meals to guests. Uh, guests arrive between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. <clears throat> after 9 p.m., guests may only gain admittance with a police referral. Guests leaving after signing in may not re-enter if they leave, and guests are offered a warm meal shortly after 7 p.m. Some bring food while others have food provided by the warming center. From 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. and from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m., there are two staff people who remain in awake and alert in order to help with any situations that might arise. Around 6.15 a.m., the guests are awakened and a simple light continental breakfast is provided, including coffee, milk, juice, fruit, oatmeal. Uh, staff helps uh, ensure the guests leave by 7.30. Staff cleans up as ne necessary and exit by 8 p.m. or 8 a.m., I'm sorry. Uh, plan commission may want to have the applicant just address how the warming center, at, center will interact with church activities and if the warming center is proposing any type of signage directing guests to the warming center. If so, what type of signage and where is it located? Um, other than that, the, it's just the plan commission should be aware that this is a conditional use permit that is for temporary uh, uh, on a yearly basis from that October to April deadline or dates. So staff was recommending approval, and I can answer any questions, and the applicants are here as well. Thank you for that report, Steve. Mr. Gulig, is there anything you'd like to add to the report? Um, just that, uh, you know, we've, uh, the Sheboygan County Warming Center and St. Cyril Methodius Parish have entered into a memorandum of understanding that laid out all the, um, all the uh, details of our relationship, and um, we're looking forward to a wonderful uh, opening of the season uh, this year so that we can help those uh, within our community that are in need. Steve had asked about any additional signing that uh, signage you'd have to direct people to the warming center. We are looking at adding a temp, it would be a, a temporary sign that would be um, displayed by the entrance, by the elevator entrance, that would be probably no more than like an 11 by 17 sh sheet of paper. It would, you know, something like that it would say warming center entrance that would you know, kind of bring people into there. 
Um, we're not planning on putting any signage out near the street or anything like that. This would just be between the church and the old school building that would direct people, direct the guests to the warming center. In about last season, uh, what was your average census that you had uh, on an evening basis? I think um, throughout the season last year, we served 42 individual guests over the period. Uh, the range of stay for the guests was anywhere from one to 59 days. Um, our uh, average number of guests per night was 11. And uh, again, it was just, just for adults, not, uh, not families. And there were a to total last year of 69 volunteers that, that helped with the warming center. Okay, thank you. Commissioners, you David. Hi, Rich. Hi. Uh, do you anticipate needing more help with uh, sanitation for the virus and all that good stuff? We're working with the church who has a sanitation unit and uh, we're gonna be working with them. In, in fact, we're, we're, we're in talks to have them do the sanitation in the morning oh. so that it's done to their satisfaction and, and everything. The, the warming center staff will clean the tables with, with sanitizing uh, um, liquids and, and wipe it down, but they have the, the, the parish has a, uh, uh, it's kind of like a fogging machine that they will use to, to fog some of the, 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 the common areas. So we are working in conjunction with the, um, with the parish to ensure that the, the area is sanitized after we're, we're done. We, we anticipate um, work, we're working with um, the public health, Schwinn County Public Health to establish some guidelines for guests and volunteers that come in as to you know, whether, whether they're, we're gonna be uh, um, asking them about um, some questions and that recommendations from from the CDC, we'll take temperatures and things like that as well. So, Great, thank you. Chad? So I just wanna say that um, it, it's nice that you guys are, have been able to find a location. We've talked about a number of locations over the last few months, and mm -hmm. when this one uh, you know, came to, to be, it was originally thought that it was gonna be maybe the school, but I guess it works well in the basement of the church, and mm -hmm. we've been there with the uh, applicant and the fire department and the building inspection department and everything seems like it can work. So we're happy that you have a home and the home is still somewhere in the downtown to serve the need that's in this area. So yes, that was one of the uh, important things for us is that it was in the in the downtown area in close proximity to where our guests uh, will be. Well, thank you for everything that you're doing. We really appreciate it. Commissioners, uh, accept the motion. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, that motion is before us. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, would the planner please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Jerry Jones? Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye, and good work, good work. Dave Hoffman? Aye. All eyes. Motion passes. Thanks again for the good work and good luck with this location. Yep. Item 3.3 is a conditional use and variance application by Corey Franklin to operate a U-Haul from Arts Barbecue located at 2329 South Business Drive. Steve. Before we begin, is there anybody online that's representing this one? Yes. Can you please state your name? Corey Franklin. Corey Welcome. Franklin. Welcome, Corey. Right. Steve, please okay. go ahead. All right, so uh, Corey Franklin has been here before and he operates Arts Barbecue at 2329 South Business Drive. And uh, he is requesting to operate a U-Haul business from the same site. Uh, outdoor display use is a conditional use permit. So uh, uh, Mr. Franklin indicates that uh, he's planning on having no more than eight U-Haul trucks, um, that there's a decent amount of parking on the site that he's planning to have one part-time employee and has uh, decided to go with a U-Haul for supplemental income during this time. Um, staff uh, had uh, received uh, some information that the U-Haul was operating and then touched base with Mr. Franklin to let him know that the conditional use permit was required. A um, couple of comments with regards to the proposed use. Um, uh, 
one of the main concerns is just with the total uh, number of U-Haul trucks and trailers that will be located at the site. Um, South Business Drive is obviously a very visible and we want to make sure that it's uh, maintained uh, well. Jim Theodoroff is the property owner and has written a letter requesting that no U-Haul items be permitted on the south parking lot adjacent to K his KFC re uh, restaurant. I request that no parking on the south side of the lot which is closest to KFC drive through window. Um, there's a curb stop at the northeast corner of the parking lot that looks like it uh, has been removed at some point in time and is allowing uh, access basically from the, uh, this parking lot to the vacant uh, BMO uh, uh, Harris uh, <clears throat> property. And so uh, staff will be recommending that that curb stop be reinstalled so that no access can uh, take place <clears throat> onto their property. Um, you can see with the trailers in the pictures that there's a trailer and a larger U-Haul uh, truck that is extending beyond that curb stop over into the neighboring property. So um, there's going to be conditions that require that all of the equipment remain on the uh, Arts Barbecue site, that nothing's crossing property lines. Um, the gates on the dumpster enclosure have been removed and the dumpsters outside so that's going to need to be the gates are going to need to be reinstalled and the dumpster re, uh, screened and enclosed in that dumpster enclosure. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I think one question that we might want to ask a little bit is just with regards to the art barbecue. I think there was a, a tent where there was some music and, and eating and things like that. We might just like to hear what he was think or what Corey was doing with that. And then there will be conditions of approval recommending that uh, only one U-Haul uh, piece of equipment may be, may be located in the front of the property, front of building to the street. Um, all other U-Haul vehicles, trailers, equipment should be permitted on the north and north side yard and the east rear yard. All vehicles shall be located on the Arts Barbecue and U-Haul private property, the 2329 South Business Drive, and none of the equipment, uh, equipment shall cross any property lines. And that uh, there shall be no access permitted onto the neighboring properties where the applicant shall reinstall the curb stops at that northeast corner to prevent access to or from the former BMO Harris property to the north. And then the last uh, uh, item uh, plan commission may want to discuss with Mr. Franklin is staff is going to be re recommending a maximum of 15 pieces of equipment on the site. I don't know what Mr. Franklin was thinking. There could be more, there could be less, um, but uh, that was something that the plan commission may want to include as far as conditions of approval. Um, other than that, staff was recommending approval of the proposal subject to the conditions before you, and I can answer any questions in the applicants online. Thank you very much, Steve. Mr. Franklin, do you have any problems with any of those conditions that Steve outlined? Yeah, I don't think I would have any more than um, 15 by far trucks or, or pieces of equipment, period. It's only because I would need a supplemental income just because of this hard time. Um, and as far as the tents and everything goes with, with bands and stuff, that we worked out and the neighbors they used to sit outside and 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 hear the music it wasn't really loud but you know they could hear the music and they used to call me and like did you guys take a break you know the neighbors really like you know blues music and they used to sit outside and you know they call me and tell me thank you it, it was pretty nice for the community i felt no problem okay very good commissioners any other uh discussion or questions or a motion Make a motion to approve all the staff recommendations. Second. Thank you for that motion and uh, support that items be before us. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, would the planner please call the roll? Mayor Vandersteen? Aye. Ryan Sazma? Aye. Jerry Jones? Aye. Aye. Marilyn Montemeyer? Aye. David Hoffman? Aye. All ayes. <clears throat> Motion passes. Good luck, Mr. Franklin. Thanks for joining us.
I, I hope I hope I don't need it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Bye. Yep. Bye bye now. <laughs> we should say that our next meeting is planned for October 27th. And Jerry, need a motion. Move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjournment, please signify by saying aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Opposed? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you very much, everybody. Um.